Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am J.A. Dudley, and today is just another day, another beautiful day. The sun is about to set, which it is glowing on my face. I wanted to talk about real problems. Everyone, everyone will look at problems or look at challenges and it is the, the worst thing that has ever happened to them. But that's because they have a, 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 a lack of stress inoculation. That's, that's really the, the biggest thing. You haven't done tough stuff, so the, the smallest little thing is the worst thing that has ever happened to you. Like, People that have been to war, uh, sometimes people will say like, oh, they don't have any emotions. They don't have any, any, uh, any feelings or anything like that, especially when something is going on. The, the real thing is if you look at the, uh, the suicide rates in the military, they have extreme feelings. They just don't know how to, how to relate that to the common person. The common person that their coffee order was uh, came out wrong, and it's the end of the world for them because their coffee order came out wrong. Well, for them, they were at a base or overseas or at war and there's bombs and explosions going on all around them and some of them they know people or a series of people that have died they went through basic training with them they they went to battle they went to war with them and they got to come home the other people didn't or if they did it was it was in a casket or they're mortally wounded because a, a grenade or some IED or something went off right there as they were driving through. And they picked a, a really simple job in the military. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm just gonna do logistics. That's it. Like, I, I don't wanna pick up a gun. I don't want to, uh, I don't wanna be on the front line. I don't want to cause any harm, any danger, any death. I don't want to be a part of that. But I do want to get that GI Bill. I do want to get an education off the back of the military. It's like, okay, well, I, I, we just need you to drive vehicles back and forth. That's it. Not into a hot zone, not into a warm zone. Like, oh, just around the base. That's all that you're going to do. And then that one day, they're driving... Everything is fine. Same trip that they've been taking every day, but people have been noticing that they've been taking that same pathway every day. Then someone sets off a bomb, a IED. All they wanted to do is get their college paid for. And now their vehicle is flipping through the air. And they're around chaos, chaos that they never expected to do. That is the worst moment in their life. They have to look behind them. They have to look next to them. They, they have to recognize that they are about to die. Then the lights go out. Then they wake up. They have broken bones. They have burns. They have to get surgery, skin grafts, and all that other stuff. Then they start to ask the question, what about everyone else that was in the vehicle? Well, unfortunately, you were the only one that survived. Now, due to your injuries, we're going to rotate you home. And 
you will have the opportunity to uh, medically retire and you get to go be a civilian. You'll get awards and uh, bravery and all of that stuff. Then you get back here, you heal up. And then you have to hear some Karen talking about there wasn't enough pumps of vanilla in their coffee. A couple of months ago, you were in a vehicle that flew through the air. Your mortality becomes real at that moment. It could have been you not waking up that next day. But no, you have to now try and get everything together and try and be some type of productive citizen in this world that doesn't give a shit. Not knowing when is going to be your last day. You try and find beauty in everything, which I do. Every day I find something beautiful to focus on, whether it's my family, whether it's the accomplishments that I, I, I have had, whether it's the history of my life that I continue to write. I'm trying to leave a legacy for my children to be able to see and to follow. But I'm also conscious about my mortality. Oh, yes, of course, I've done reckless things in the past. I still do reckless things to this day. But I always try to make sure that I'm feeling in control with anything that I do that could potentially be deemed reckless because I'm aware of my mortality. I am trying to do everything, setting myself up for when that sun sets the last time on me. I won't be around for the next sunrise. I make videos that you will never see until I'm no longer here. They're scheduled out a year in advance, letting you know that I'm no longer here. I, I can't put, I can't reschedule them again to let you know that, oh, I survived another year. Nope, that's the end of me. I was reminded about this from, uh, I can't think of it, it's a gun YouTuber that just passed away uh, due to cancer or something like that. And he made a video and gave it to his brother and said, and I think the beginning of it is, well, if you're watching this, I'm dead. Just getting straight to the point. Because he knew where his mortality was, that it's going to end soon. This cancer is going to take, uh, take over his body and completely shut him down. So he needs to give his last will and testament to the world because the world looked at him as an expert. Me, I'm not necessarily an expert on anything, but I am in the eyes of my children. I don't know who else might look up to me as an expert in all the different things that I do. But I don't think that that's the case. There are people that I am close with, people that I used to be close with, that I have spoken to about these different, uh, different subjects before. They didn't really get it. I've tried to talk to my family about it, telling them I need you to get your stuff in order now. It may be a tough subject for you, 
but tomorrow is not promised. And I don't want the people that are still around you to have to stress and struggle because you didn't get your stuff in order. I just watched a video earlier from um, Justin, I uh, can't, can't think of his name. Uh, he's from, a YouTuber from North Carolina, does farming and stuff. Uh, Justin, I can't think of it at all. But on his new piece of property, he was setting up a grave site for his family. That is something that I always desired to do. Couldn't do that in New Jersey. They don't allow it. You have to go by the book. You got to pay for a concrete thing so your body can't get reabsorbed into the earth. And then inside that concrete thing, you have to be put into a casket. And then they have to pour concrete on top of you. And it has to go into this uh, cemetery that costs all of this ridiculous amount of money. I wanted to get out into the country where I can own my own land. And I can say, I want to be buried there. I could dig the hole myself. And just have it sitting there ready and waiting. Giving me that focus and motivation that that sunset. And then I went to sleep. Then I woke up the next day. Giving me that motivation to continue and do more, grind harder, put in more of an effort to become better because I won't wake up one day. I know and understand my mortality. I've done some of the most reckless things imaginable. Who watching this has ever stepped in a cage with another grown man and fought? I, I highly doubt that any of you have. Who watching this has ever worked for the telephone company and climbing up on a telephone pole and then lightning hit that pole and then snap another pole and then a live wire go flying past your head probably not any of you who used to race cars illegally and then completely lose control going airborne like the Dukes of Hazard, twice. <laughs> oh man, do I miss my Ford Taurus SHO. That was a fun time in life, but I survived that. Everyone around me survived that. That's because the father was watching over me because he knew that it wasn't time for that son to set on me. My brother Zen He had a massive heart attack at, what, what age was that? Was, was he 27? Because of stress and got a heart disorder that was exacerbated by stress because he's trying to grind for his family and he dropped dead. He wasn't able to see that next sunset. There have been people around me that getting up there in age and cancer has been a thing. Maybe it's a, a reaction to what they've done in the past. You don't know because that cancer it could come from out of anywhere. You could be doing everything right, be the healthiest that you can be, and it'll still get you. Then you have options, but that clock, 
that clock starts ticking. A lot of people haven't paid attention knowing that that sun sets, then the next day that sun rises. And that may have been that day that time stopped for you. A lot of people don't pay attention to it until they're they're right it's right there in front of you. And then you have to pay attention to it. You have to start doing things that actually make sense for your life, for your future, for your generations. That is what I am doing now. Not because it's a reality check for me, for what has happened to those before me. It is a reality check that I've had decades ago that I'm going to live my life to the fullest because I know that sun is going to set. I'm going to put myself in a place where I get to choose where I'm going to go and that I'm going to prepare my family for it and make amazing memories for them because I understand my mortality. The Father has given me the time, the knowledge, and the insight to do right. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to continue doing. Living the path that he set for me. And then when it's time, it's just time. I want y'all to smile, be happy, Remember the good times that we had. Remember the wild and crazy things that we've done together. Remember who I was and who I was to you. And know that I was always truthful to you. Because that's all you can be. If I'm going to be truthful to me, I'm definitely going to be truthful to you because I don't want your sunset to be based off of a lie with me. So y'all have a blessed day. Go take some pictures, go make some memories and enjoy it and say thank you to the father for each moment that you have because you never know when it's gonna be your last. Shalom.